The regular season is where stars are made, but the postseason is where legends are born. The playoffs are what obviously matter most, every play means more, every game brings a level of intensity you just don't get elsewhere, and ultimately most people judge the leagues best by what they do during this time above all else. Whether or not that's fair is an entirely different conversation, but the reality is that fans will not go easy on you if you underperform during this time, and that brings us to today's video. Video. Today we'll be discussing the five star players that are under the most pressure this year to have really good showings in the playoffs because they, for a variety of reasons, either have negative reputations that they need to shake from their past or their time is just running out to accomplish their ultimate goal. Before we start though, it turns out a good amount of you watching right now aren't even subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the content, consider hitting the subscribe button as not only does it help out a ton, but it also very much much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. The first star player that is definitely under a ton of pressure this postseason is Damian Lillard of the Milwaukee Bucks. Damian Lillard's entire career has been made up of him going out of his way to emphasize how loyal he is and how he will never play for another team in his career when he was in Portland. That changed this offseason when he finally had enough of the Trailblazers going in the wrong direction and his move to Milwaukee was made purely for the sake of getting him to a team with a chance to contend for a title. After that entire fiasco, this postseason was always going to be what his time in Milwaukee was going to be judged on, which has in turn put a huge target on his back, because the truth is, it's championship or bust for this group. The Bucks were eliminated in the first round last year, and trading for Lillard was supposed to fill the hole that they had offensively as they were lacking in shot creation alongside Giannis last season. Lillard's had some big time playoff performances in the past, but he's also had some really, really bad playoff showings as well. He's just been able to get away with it more because his Trailblazers teams were never really favored over their opposition and they didn't have much pressure to go all the way by the public. Giannis is also injured at the moment, so even more pressure is on Lillard to keep the ship afloat until he gets back. If the Bucks get sent home early after all the drama that Lillard created this offseason, it's not going to be a good look at all and fans are not going to hold back. The next star player under a ton of pressure this postseason is Joel Embiid of the Philadelphia 76ers. Joel Embiid is a superstar of the highest level who has not had the playoff breakthrough that his peers around him have all had. He's an MVP winner, he's a multiple time scoring champion, and he's an elite talent who has yet to lead his 76ers team past the second round of the playoffs, and whether it's fair or not, the average fan will never give him credit until he does. He has also had some of the worst injury luck any star has ever had, and has barely ever been healthy for a full playoff run, but this year is not really looking like it's going to be any different as he just recently came back from his meniscus tear and seemed to have strained it in the second to last game of the regular season too. He's of course going to play through it, as he always has done in the past, and with the East so wide open right now, he needs to get himself back into shape fast because there's a clear opportunity to make a run now that they've clinched the 7 seed. In the first round, they're going to play the New York Knicks, who are missing Julius Randle. Giannis Antetokounmpo is also injured on the Bucks, who are seen as one of the other big contenders in the conference, and they wouldn't have to face the Boston Celtics until the conference finals if they were to advance that far, so even if Embiid isn't at 100% health right now, he has to bring his A game with what he has. This season, he's taken huge strides as a passer, averaging a career-high six per game. He needs to trust Tyrese Maxey to take more control of things now that Maxey is an all-star talent, and he has a ton of shooters around him who defend hard as well, so their chances will come down to his overall decision-making and shot selection. The next star player under a ton of pressure this postseason is James Harden of the Los Angeles Clippers. 
Harden is one of the best players in NBA history to have never won a ring, and while he's had quite a few bad breaks over the years, there have also been countless occasions where he's had nobody bl to blame but himself for his shortcomings. His series against the Celtics last year was a wild ride, where he had two unbelievable 40-point games, and then the rest of the series it seemed like he was actively sabotaging the Sixers with his poor shooting and untimely turnovers, and then he followed that up by by creating a whole scene over the fact that the Sixers didn't want to pay him a long-term max contract extension at his age. He forced his way out in dramatic fashion, and even got his wish of being traded to the Clippers this year, so now with everything set up for his favor, he's under the microscope expected to play a key role in a deep Clippers run. Since his arrival on the Clippers, they've been one of the best offensive units in the league, ranking fourth in the NBA in offensive efficiency, and on paper it makes sense, because the Clippers have always been in need of a floor general playmaking point guard to run the show and make the lives of their scorers easier, and Harden, especially over the last few years, has been exactly that. The Clippers get Luka Doncic and the Mavericks in the first round, and they won't have Kawhi Leonard for game one at least, as he is still recovering from his knee injury, so that just means even more pressure is on Harden to pick up the slack. If he did all of this just to get eliminated in the first round, he may never hear the end of it, so it's on him to silence the critics. The next star player under a ton of pressure in the playoffs this year is Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics. The Celtics are comfortably in the driver's seat right now, sitting atop the East as the one seed and finishing the year with the best record in the entire NBA. They're the number one ranked offense in the league, they're the number two ranked defense in the league, and top to bottom there isn't really a true weakness to exploit with the Celtics, which honestly all contributes to the pressure on Tatum this year. Tatum had a very fast rise in the league, coming into a Celtics team that was ready to contend in the playoffs, and from day one, he has been a key cog in this team's success that has seen them in the conference finals in four of the last six years, with an NBA Finals appearance in that span as well. Year in and year out, they're one of the best teams in the league, but they do not yet have a championship under their belt as a core, and this year, they're the heavy favorites to do that. Stacked, deep, balanced rosters like this can go far regardless but to win a championship, they need their top dog to play like a superstar in the biggest moments, and Jason Tatum is that guy for them. When they made the finals in 2022, he had a pretty poor showing, and they lost to the Warriors, which really emphasizes my point. The Celtics have immense talent all throughout their lineup, but if they want to win a championship, which is what's expected of them, then they can't have Tatum playing as inconsistently as he has in the past few postseasons. And finally, the last star player under a ton of pressure this postseason is Kevin Durant of the Phoenix Suns. Kevin Durant is different than other stars on this list who are all ringless in pursuit of their first, as Durant has won two during his time in Golden State, but the reason he's included is because, for an all-time borderline top 10 talent of all time, the conversation surrounding his legacy still remains that the people want to see him lead a team to a title instead of hopping on the coattails of a dynasty to get it done. Phoenix entered this season with championship or bust expectations, after they traded for Bradley Beal in the offseason to form a big three with Durant and Devin Booker, and after a regular season filled with injury and inconsistency, they're fully healthy now coming in as the sixth seed and are still expected to make that run. They have as talented of a trio as any team in the league, Grayson Allen was the league's best shooter this season, and Yusuf Nurkic proved to be a solid addition in the middle as well, so even though Durant's legacy as is can be pretty safely set in stone. We all know he could put to bed any lingering criticisms with a title run this year. And with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below which star you think is under the most pressure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.